talk about this. A lot of tires. They call it the rubber city, but this isn't what Akron wants to be known for. Thanks for joining us for the news at 10 o'clock. I'm Chris Fry. Now, last week we told you about this story and a pile of tires littering across one community. Well, tonight, 19 troubleshooter Kelly Kennedy getting a whole new scope of a much bigger issue and how the city is now taking action. I found out the city started keeping track of this problem, which they've admitted has gotten worse. They tell me they've identified nearly 3,000 illegally dumped tires throughout the city, and that's likely just the tip of the iceberg. I'm here at just one of the locations. Take a look. About 300 tires just dumped here in the parking lot of this abandoned business. Now, I asked the city what they're doing to deter people from doing this and to clean up the mess. We got a couple of calls in late last year. Just people couldn't even get out of their driveways or alleyways. Jackie Ricuti is the executive director of Keep Akron Beautiful. She says illegal dumping has been a problem in Akron for the past decade. Her organization puts together neighborhood cleanups and can help remove some of the tires. We send our, our staff out to remediate those, um, but the amount is alarming. Authorities suspect unlicensed tire haulers are profiting off of shops need to get rid of them, which is a crime. Just last week, Akron police arrested a man for illegal dumping. They found 50 tires in the back of his U-Haul. He's facing felony charges. Culprits can face hefty fines and up to four years behind bars. The, the criminal element mm -hmm. who, you know, they're for whatever reason, they're actually, you know, renting trucks and stuffing used tires and U-Hauls and then taking them to vacant properties or abandoned buildings and stuffing them in there. Last week, Ken Swope reached out to me, frustrated that after reporting this pile of tires to the city three times, no one had come out to help. It's terrible. I mean, I get, every morning I come up, I get into my truck, I, I go to work, I see this, this pile of tires. I've reported to the city numerous times with no, nothing. No, they don't do anything. Euphren C. Lash is the director of neighborhood assistance for the city. He says they're working on it. We have to be strategic as to what locations we pick up and when we pick them up. It's on the list mm -hmm. and we're moving our way through the list. Lash tells me the tire recycling company the city works with can only accept 200 tires per day. They're trying to see if they can expand that. And he says it's also expensive. It costs the city four to six dollars per tire. What do you say to residents who are frustrated, who you know have to live next to a big pile of tires through no fault of their own? Sure, I understand the frustration. I share the frustration. Uh, I would only ask them to remain vigilant. If they see something that does not look right, they see something that doesn't look kosher, mm -hmm. they should report it to to us as soon as possible. In Akron, Kelly Kennedy, 19 News. Now the city is applying for a $40,000 EPA grant this week to help remove those tires. They'll find out in July if they'll get that money.